New Year's is upon us. Tomorrow night, millions of Americans will be dressing up and heading out to parties. But many others will prefer to spend the night in with those they hold dearest. For the latter crowd, our guests have suggestions on celebrating safely and eating heartily without all of the hassle and expense of going out. Are you the kind of New Year's reveler who likes to sit home with an old movie and some alcoholic beverages? If so, Tim Federley has a plan for every type of film buff in his book, Gone with the Gin, Cocktails with a Hollywood Twist. Federley is a writer, former Broadway dancer, and film aficionado. He says that if you're by yourself, with your significant other, or if you're getting together with the girls, he has the cocktail and movie for you. I might suggest The Sloppy in Seattle, which is from the comedy section of the new book, which is broken up into all sorts of different sections that you may have found in the old days at a blockbuster, now on Netflix, of course. So The Sloppy in Seattle is with a toast to Sleepless in Seattle, of course, directed by the great Nora Ephron in 1993. I would get the ladies together. I'd pop it into the DVD player or you'd stream it. And then I would make it a shot of espresso, one ounce of whiskey, a half ounce of Maro liqueur, and a little ground cinnamon for garnish. And the idea with all of these cocktails is that they sort of hopefully evoke a spirit of the movie. So, of course, with this one, we think the Seattle-worthy coffee cocktail that's worth staying awake for. Mystery and thriller fans have a number of movies and drinks they can choose from, including one inspired by a suspenseful Audrey Hepburn film. And I might suggest that under thrillers, you do something like Wait Until Dark and Stormy. So, of course, Wait Until Dark, classic Audrey Hepburn movie that was first a Broadway show that as a little snapple fun fact, was such a success that it ended up opening and closing in three different theaters in New York to accommodate the demand. It's a slightly creaky movie now when you watch it, which of course also helps make a cocktail go down more easily or vice versa. That's two ounces spiced rum, half ounce lemon or lime juice, and ginger beer to fill to the top of your glass. And the idea here is that it's such a quintessential cocktail. It's so simple you can make it with your eyes shut, as, of course, the plot of the movie revolves around a woman who's outwitting a bunch of crooks, even though she's blind. If your tastes turn more to beer than cocktails, Christian Di Benedetti has a book full of beverage and food selections that will take big brewery beer drinkers a bit out of their comfort zones. Di Benedetti is co-author with Andrea Sloniker of the book Beer Bites, Tasty Recipes and Perfect Pairings for Brew Lovers. He says that if you want to drink beer, but also enjoy the celebratory bubbly feel of champagne, there are a number of brews to choose from. There are so many craft beers to choose from. It really depends on where a person lives in the U.S. and what access they have to uh, the local the craft beers and European beers. But for my bet, if I was going to drink something celebratory, champagne sort of style, I'd look at some of the great Belgian beers and golden ales that come in large format bottles and Belgian style beers made in the United States that come with a cork and cage and they're fun to pop open. They tend to be a little bit higher in alcohol than a typical beer, but they're a lot less alcoholic than wine and champagne typically. So They're pretty sociable as well. And, you know, again, depending on where you live, there's a huge variety of of beers out there to look for. But, you know, that can be fun from the celebratory sort of angle. And as far as just celebrating through the holidays with craft beers, I mean, there are so many different varieties now that pair well with food and that fit different situations. The book is called Beer Bites, and Di Benedetti says that they have included food that will go great with each type of beer. For the Irish stouts like Guinness and its craft beer counterparts, they have an interesting twist on the traditional slider. Andrea came up with a Gougere slider bun, which is like, an, do you know what that is? The uh, airy uh, kind of Burgundian cheese puff that you can make ahead of time. We use those for the bun on a beef slider. And so you go through the process of making these Gougeres, which are just yummy. They're just kind of chewy and and delicious. This is a great invention by Andrea. And then make some homemade pickled shallots. Just takes a few minutes. And then some little mini beef patties with some Worcestershire and Dijon, maybe some shredded iceberg, a little mayo. These little sliders are a huge hit when we serve them. You know, they fit in two fingers, basically. You can just pop them in your mouth. And they're great for uh, entertaining people, watching the game, what have you. 
For the IPA beer, he suggests a pizza with Brussels sprouts. We ended up working with some classics. One that we did is very seasonal, is a Brussels sprouts and Taligio pizza. This is the classic pairing, right? Pizza and beer. And for this, we make a homemade dough, although you can use a store-bought dough as well if you're short on time. And then basically a combination of a little garlic, a little Taligio cheese, which is a very fragrant cow's milk cheese, Brussels sprouts, you can get anywhere, a little sea salt, and then some speck or prosciutto, which is cured pork product that probably had before. Really tastes amazing when it's kind of melted under the broiler with these powerful cheeses and with the Brussels sprouts. For more insight and stories about beer and what to serve with it, pick up Christian Benedetti's and Andrea Sloniker's book, Beer Bites. And for a night at the movies with cocktails, on New Year's or any time, grab Tim Federley's book, Gone with the Gin. For information about all of our guests, visit our site at viewpointsonline.net. Our show is written and produced by Evan Rook and Pat Reuter. The show's studio production is done by Jason Dickey. Our executive producer is Reed Pence. I'm Marty Peterson. Viewpoints returns in just a moment. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control of your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problem now by calling the experts at U.S. Tax Shield and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, so call now, 800-568-1647. That's 800-568-1647. U.S. Tax Shield, 800-568-1647. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-835-1478. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Donate your vehicle and you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-835-1478. That's 1-800-835-1478. And that's Viewpoints for this week. Viewpoints is a production of Media Tracks Communications. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook to learn about upcoming shows and find a library of past programs on iTunes. Plus, you'll always find podcasts of our segments and information about our guests at viewpointsonline.net. Join us again next week for your public affairs magazine, Viewpoints. Viewpoints.